G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. With the new update from GS Pro, bought the ability to create custom skills tests. In today's video, I'm gonna go over how to create your own custom skills test, and then I'm also gonna show you how to get someone else's skills test, like the Joe Legowski Golf uh, skills test. I'm gonna show you how to get that, download it, and put it into your file on your PC, so then it shows up in GS Pro. Let's get started. Okay, so to create your own custom skills test, you have to go to the practice tab, and then we're gonna to go to on course practice select which course you want to make your custom skills test at. For the purpose of this video, I'll just go to Harbour Town Golf Links. And in here you set the uh, match settings you want for the skills test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it as it is, but for the holes, I know I'm only gonna use hole 18. If you wanna use, I'll use hole 17 and 18 just so I can show you how to navigate. So we'll go play Harbour Town Golf Links. And you've gotta launch this in um, practice on course practice. That's a key step. Okay, Harbour Town Golf Links has loaded and this course looks incredible. And do you know what else would be incredible? Is if you subscribed to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, join the Facebook group. I'm really trying to grow this uh, community and this channel this year. So a sub to the channel would be really appreciated. Okay, how good does this look? Hole 17 at Harbour Town Golf Links. Let's create our custom skills test. So what I wanna do is I like this shot. I'd like to start this skills test with this exact shot. So what I do is I go and click on round edit up the top, and then I'm gonna go shots. I'll click on shots, and now I'm gonna go add shot. And this is gonna add, as you can see, the distance 166.1 yards, and then it's gonna say attempts. So if you want more than one attempt at this shot, simply select the plus button, and that's gonna have two shots. Okay, now we wanna do some other shots on this hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the ball icon in the top left-hand corner, and now I can select anywhere on the GS Pro window or anywhere in the mini-map. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll want to do a long bunker shot. So we'll click in the bunker on the mini-map, and now we've been brought to this position. 50 yards, I like this shot, so I'm gonna click Add Shot. As you can see, it's brought up the shot, brought up the yardage, and then it's gonna say number of attempts. I'm happy to leave that at one. All right, so we've got two shots now from hole 17. Now I want some shots from hole 18. So if I click on the little hole icon up in the top left-hand corner next to the ball, we'll select that, and then we'll select 18. That's gonna take me to 18. Okay, now I'm gonna select the ball icon, and I'm gonna go drop myself in the fairway We've just hit a really nice drive, but we've still got 194 yards in. I wanna add this shot, so I'll go add shot, and I'll give myself two attempts at this shot, and then I'll pick the ball up, and we'll go to the green side, and we'll just do a little chip just down the hill, and then I'll go add shot, and I'll just give myself one attempt. So that's my skills test. Now, what I do is I hit save, and then it's gonna ask me to enter a name. So I'm just gonna go practice skills test, and then I'll go save, and that's done. That is now saved. So what I'll do is I'll exit, end round, confirm. And then if I go back to practice, I'll go to custom skills test now, and then I'll scroll down because GS Pro does load a few in here that they've already made. And then as you can see, I've got some of mine that I've made as well. And if we scroll down, we can see Harbour Town Golf Links practice skills test right there. So that's the one that we just made. There was four positions. The distance totals up to 793 yards and we have six shots. And that's because we did four shots, but we did two attempts at the longer shots. And to play it, all you do is simply select play course. Okay, but what happens if you wanna share that skills test that you've just made with your mates, with your friends, you might have a golf community that a few people have GS Pro. You want to have a skills test between you guys. How do you do that? So what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to click on the GS Pro window. I'm going to hit F11. That'll make it windowed mode. And then I can just minimize GS Pro. All right, so now I'm back on my Windows, just my normal home screen. I'm going to navigate to the File Explorer. So that's the little file down there. If you don't see it, you can open up any of your files, but the File Explorer should be there just in your um, taskbar. If it isn't, select the little Windows icon and you can navigate to the File Explorer that way. We'll select that. And that's gonna open up to your homepage. So now we need to find where these files are located 
within your system. So where does GS Pro save them? And you should know where they are if you remember where you actually um, told GS Pro to save them when you installed GS Pro. Okay, so let's navigate to this PC and then also your hard drive. So we'll navigate to the hard drive of our PC. And in here, I've got GS Pro V1. Yours might say GS Pro V2. We'll double click that. And now I'm gonna double click core. Then I'm gonna double click GSP. And now I've got courses. And this is where if you wanna drop in a beta course, you download it, you, you can drop that into the courses folder. These are all the courses that I have down, downloaded on GS Pro. We'll go back. What you wanna do is enter the custom rounds folder. So it'll say custom rounds, we'll open that. And as you can see, let me find it. I've got my skills tests, night range challenge, there is the one we just made, practice skills test. That is a CRD file. All you do is right click and you can go copy. And now you can go into an email um, or you know whichever messaging service you use, paste that file into it, send it to your friends. All they have to do is navigate to this custom rounds folder, drop it in there, um, close out of that, launch GS Pro. If you have GS Pro open already, we'll navigate back to GS Pro. We'll hit F11. What you can do is you can go to settings and you can hit reload courses. And when you hit reload courses, it's just gonna refresh the, the file system and it's gonna show you the new files that have come up, which will be your custom round. But if you don't have GS Pro open, and you open it, it'll do this automatically in the background. All right, guys, I hope that helps. That is how to create a custom course on GS Pro or a custom skills test, I should say, and then also how to share that custom skills test and where to put it in your file system on your computer so it shows up in GS Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. Any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.